Hi, all you jigsaw puzzle fanatics out there. It's Shannon, and welcome back to the Persnickety Puzzler. Before we get started, I'd like to apologize for not getting a video out sooner, but I have been under the weather, and I'm still not 100%. If you watch my channel at all, you will know that in addition to the fact that I am a jigsaw puzzle fanatic, my husband and I also collect pinball machines. And a couple of weekends ago, we attended the Texas Pinball Festival held in Frisco, Texas. We've been going to this show for quite a few years now, and it allows you the opportunity to try out all the new pinball machines that have come out onto the marketplace such as the brand new Elton John machine, uh, Jaws came out, um, The Godfather is a, new, a relatively new machine, Looney Tunes, oh my goodness, so many, Toy Story 4, which has been out a little while, but it's relatively new, and boy, is it a fun machine. Anyway, we had a fabulous time, but as you can probably imagine that with thousands of people touching all the same things, there are millions of germs. And so by the time we got back and started unpacking, I knew I had caught something evil. <laughs> and it has taken me quite a while to get over it. Uh, I'm almost there, not 100%, but good enough to do this video today because I could not stand the thought of waiting one second longer. So today is part four of my five-part series on my favorite jigsaw puzzle artists. Some of these artists are artists whose work I already own, but there are a handful of artists whose work I do not own, but would love to get my grubby paws on. Most of these puzzles are still in print, but there are some of them that are out of print, and the only way you're going to be able to find them is probably on eBay. I have included links in the description below to all of the puzzles that I'm going to be talking about in this video, along with any coupon codes that may apply. I will be sharing the artists in alphabetical order, starting with the letter L and ending with the letter O. I also will be showing you pics of the artist puzzles as I talk about each artist. Let's get started. The first jigsaw puzzle artist whose work I adore is the French artist Benjamin Lacombe. This first puzzle is called Madame Butterfly. It is 1,000 pieces on the Paper Blanks jigsaw puzzle line. And I think it is simply gorgeous. I am unaware of any other puzzles by Benjamin Lacombe so if you know of any, I would love to hear about it in the comments below. Gorgeous work. This next artist is probably familiar to quite a few of my viewers. I was just a little late to the party. This next artist, her name is Romy Lerda. She is from Argentina and she is incredible. This first puzzle is called Harley. It is 1,000 pieces on the Magnolia Jigsaw Puzzle line. I only recently discovered Romy Lerda back in 2023 because I became familiar with Magnolia Puzzles and they carried her work. She has quite a few puzzles on that line and I have a lot of catching up to do to get them all. This is just one of them. Another one that I'd like to share with you by Romy Lerda this one is called Katrina. It is 1,000 pieces on the Magnolia Jigsaw Puzzle brand. I love, love, love the colors. Another one by Romy Lerda. This one is called Lady with Fish. I think this is an absolutely gorgeous image. Cannot say enough wonderful things about this woman's work. Got a lot of puzzles to purchase. And the last one that I'm going to share with you by Romy Lerda, this one is called Lady with Flowers. It is 1,000 pieces on the Magnolia Jigsaw Puzzle line. I think these flowers are stunning. They are gorgeous. The colors, I cannot say enough good things about Romy Lerda. The next Jigsaw Puzzle artist whose work 
I Adore is an artist from Belarus, and his name is Anton Lomeyev. This puzzle is called Daughters of the Sea. It is 750 pieces on the Art and Fable Jigsaw puzzle line. When I saw this, I was blown away. I thought it was incredible artwork. I do not know of any other puzzles out in the wild by Anton Lomeyev. If you do know, you know what to do. Let me know in the comments. This next artist is beloved by so many Jigsaw Puzzle fans out there. And I love him so much. He is the American artist, Dean McAdam. This first puzzle is called Most Everyone is Mad. It is 1,000 pieces on the Ravensburger puzzle line. This is the first Dean McAdam puzzle that I bought and it opened Pandora's box into getting all of his puzzles. He has done a series of fairy tale puzzles on the Ravensburger brand and they are all simply fabulous. I'm going to show you some more. Another one by Dean McAdam. This one is called Hansel and Gretel Beware. 1,000 pieces on the Ravensburger line. It's wonderful. Another one by Dean McAdam. This one is called Lions and Tigers and Bears. Oh my, 1,000 pieces on the Ravensburger line. Another one in the fairy tale series. This is another one. This one is called Come In Red Riding Hood. It is 1,000 pieces on the Ravensburger line. This one is called Goldilocks Gets Caught. It is 1,000 pieces on the Ravensburger line. He also has just recently released one called Look Out Little Pigs. It is also one of the fairy tale puzzles. It is 1,000 pieces. Dean McAdam doesn't just do fairy tale puzzles. He does other puzzles as well. And this one is called The Dog Walker. It is 1,000 pieces on the Ravensburger puzzle line. This was previously available in a smaller piece count. So I was really happy when it became available in the 1,000 piece count. He also has a brand new puzzle that was just announced in the last several days. And it is called Busy Birdies. And it's wonderful. Okay. The next jigsaw puzzle artist whose work I love is the Jamaican artist Tamara Madden. This puzzle is called Her Coat of Many Colors. It is 1,000 pieces on the pomegranate jigsaw puzzle line. When I saw this puzzle for the first time, I think I said the word wow out loud, and I put it in my cart. I think she is incredibly gifted. The next jigsaw puzzle artist whose work I love is the Danish artist Dort Matheisen. This puzzle is called Plant Lover. It is 1,000 pieces on the Vis Vos line. What I love about her is the Nordic vibe, the minimalist vibe. I love it. Another one by Dort. This one is called White Christmas. It is 1,000 pieces. I put it together over the Christmas holidays last year and I loved it. Love the colors in that one. Here's another one by Dort. This one is called Autumn Feeling. This one's a relatively new release. It is 1,000 pieces and I think these colors are absolutely gorgeous. And the last one I'm going to share with you, another relatively new one by Dort. This one is called Wonderful Christmas Time. It is 1,000 pieces on the Visa Vas line. This next artist is an artist whose work I adore. He is an American artist and his name is Nathan Miller. This puzzle is called 
Legend of the Jaguar Shaman. It is 1,000 pieces on the art and fable line. What I love about Nathan Miller is that he is an exceptionally good at drawing wild cats. And I love cats. But I think this is just a stunning, stunning image. Another one by Nathan Miller. This is relatively new release on the Art and Fable line. This one is called The Tale of Waghoba. It is 1,000 pieces of gorgeousness. Okay, the next jigsaw puzzle artist whose work I love is the artist David Marchesvili from Tbilisi, Georgia. I do not own any of this artist's work, but I plan on getting some in the very near future. This first puzzle is called Cairo. It is 1,000 pieces on the Magnolia Jigsaw Puzzle Line. Another one by David Marchesvili. This one is called Old Tbilisi, 1,000 pieces on the Magnolia Jigsaw Puzzle Line. And the last puzzle I want to show you by David Marchesvili. This one is called Snow in Old Tbilisi on the Magnolia Jigsaw Puzzle Line. This is probably my favorite puzzle of the three, but I love all three of them. He is very talented. Another jigsaw puzzle artist whose work I love, 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 is the American artist Jared Mariyama. This puzzle is called Pee Wee's Playhouse. It is 1,000 pieces on the Road Crates Jigsaw Puzzle brand. Unfortunately for me, I did not discover Jared Mariyama until after all of his puzzles were out of print. I love his style of illustration. It is happy, joyful, and clean. And I love his use of color. He's got several other puzzles that were produced by the Road Crates brand. Another one that I would like to show you is called Breakfast. Another one that he has done is called Happy Baking. And another one is called Sweet Smiles. I love his use of color. There's just so much joy in his work. Another one that he did is a Christmas puzzle called it's that time of year. I don't own it. I don't own any of these. I would love to get them. And the last puzzle that I want to share with you by him is called Busy Cats. It's probably my favorite one that he did. And no, I don't own it. If you like any of these puzzles by him, the only way you're going to be able to find them is on eBay, which is a tragedy for both you and for me. The next jigsaw puzzle artist whose work I love is the French artist Miss Tigre. This puzzle is called Miss Swan. It is 1,000 pieces on the Nathan Jigsaw Puzzle brand. This puzzle is out of print. You may be able to find it on eBay. Miss Tigre does have additional puzzles out on the Graphica jigsaw puzzle brand. I don't own any of them. I don't particularly like them as well as the puzzles that she put out on the Nathan line. The next jigsaw puzzle artist whose work I love is the American artist Christian Musselman. This puzzle is called Desert Sunset. It is 1,000 pieces on the Modern Puzzles Jigsaw Puzzle line. What I love about this guy's work is that he does that mid-century modern retro vibe that I love. I eat this kind of stuff up. The complete image of the puzzle is on the back here. Look at that image. I think it is wonderful. Love it. Another one by Christian on the Modern Puzzles line. This one is called Beach Vibes. It is 1,000 pieces. If I turn it around, you can see the complete image of the puzzle. All of the puzzles on the Modern Puzzles line are that mid-century modern vibe. There are several more. I don't own all of them, but I will be getting them. 
Okay. And the next jigsaw puzzle artist whose work I love is the Russian artist Vitaly Nazarenko. This puzzle is called Cat and Books. It is 1,000 pieces on the Yaz jigsaw puzzle line. And when I saw it, I thought it was absolutely adorable. I put it in my cart and I purchased it. I hope he does additional puzzles for this line because I really, really love his artwork. The next jigsaw puzzle artist whose work I love is the Chinese artist Vikto Nagai. This particular puzzle is called City Prayer. It is 1,000 pieces on the New York Puzzle Company puzzle line. I love his use of color his style of illustration. I just love this guy's work. He has quite a few pieces available on the New York Puzzle Company line. Another one that I really love is called Crossing Borders, and it is beautiful. The, the image, the colors, it's so serene. It is a gorgeous puzzle. Love this guy, look him up. All right, this next Jigsaw Puzzle Artist is probably going to come as a bit of a surprise to you guys because I, I typically like more modern work than this, but I just don't know why. I love this guy. His name is John O'Brien. He's an American artist, and he does these puzzles that are incredibly detailed room interiors that I am so drawn to. This puzzle is called Room with a View. It is 2,000 pieces on the Ravensburger puzzle line. I love this. I love this puzzle. Uh, at some point, I will get around to putting this together, and I will love every minute of it. Really a big fan of his work. The last jigsaw puzzle artist in this video whose work I adore is the American artist Shay O'Connor. This puzzle is called Mary Cactus. It is 450 pieces on the Jiggy puzzle line. And what do I love about this puzzle? Well, it's Maud. And I love Maud. I love this woman's work. She also has an Etsy store where she sells an additional puzzle. It's a 500 piece puzzle and it is called The Four Seasons. I don't own it yet, but I predict that I will be picking it up sometime in the near future. So that's a wrap for part four of my five-part series on my favorite jigsaw puzzle artists. Only one more video to go. I am on a mission to discover as many fabulous jigsaw puzzle artists out in the wild as I can, but I need you to help me find them. So if you know someone who is incredibly gifted, let us all know in the comments below. I'm sure we would all appreciate it so much. Thank you so, so much for watching and subscribing, and I will see you next time.